In this video, we talk about the zip function in Python. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. And if you don't know what the zip function does is it essentially lets you zip or combine lists together into tuples. So I'll show you what I mean right now. So first things first, let's go ahead and create our lists so we can zip them together. So we'll have our fruits list. We got some apples, bananas, grapes, pears. So we got our list of fruits and then maybe we have our quantity of fruits that we want to, that we're buying. So I don't know, we'll just do five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So we got our fruits, our quantity of fruits, and let's go ahead and make our shopping cart where we'll combine fruits and quantity together for our shopping cart. Shopping, oops, shopping cart is equal to zip and it's fruits and quantity. So we're zipping those two together and let's go ahead and print shopping cart to see what happens. And we get something funky here. So basically it's saying that we're showing a zip object instead of what we wanna show, which is a list. So if we can convert it to a list, just wrap it up in our list function. And there we go. So we've combined our two lists, fruits and quantity together to get, you know, a list of tuples that contain apples, quantity, bananas, quantity, grapes, quantity, pears, quantity. Then we could go ahead and use a for loop to iterate through our zipped list if we want to. So for F Q in shopping cart print F Q. So we got apple six, banana seven, grapes eight, pears nine. Alternatively, we can unzip a list of tuples if we want to do that. So we need to go ahead and define our list. So I'll just say unfruit and then uh, un quantity is equal to zip. And then you throw an asterisk in here and you type in the list of tuples that you want to unzip. So shopping cart. And then we can go ahead and print on fruit, on quantity, run it real quick. And now we see that we have unzipped our two lists. So now we just have a tuple containing our fruits and then another tuple containing our quantity that we've ordered. So that is the zip function in a nutshell and also how to unzip if you want to unzip your list of tuples. And that is it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.